This is the Apple iPad Goodreader app for reading PDFs. Okay, this is your library screen. This is where you manage your files. And you can do different things. Search for files in your device. You manage your files. Um, you can do different things under the management. You can uh, you can mark them as read or unread. You can protect them. There's different features. Um, you can also download new files from the web or you can connect to a local Wi-Fi um, connection and you can transfer files like that. This is a preview here. This is actually a magazine that I've downloaded in a PDF format. I'm going to go to page one. Okay, this is the cover, this Information Display Magazine. You can see it's very fast. It's, uh, that's the good thing about the iPad. It's very quick. And you have different features here. You can, there's two brightness levels. In my case, I find that the backlight strains my eyes after a while. So, one thing you can do, if I can get to a page with more text here, um, you can hit the reflow button, which take you know it, it's just going to be a text. Now you're going to lose your graphics. But one thing you can do in this mode is you can hit the uh, brightness control, and here you get the light colored text on the black background. I find that's much easier for reading for me for an extended period of time. Okay, let's go back. Also, it has an automatic scrolling feature, so if you leave, the, if you don't touch it for a little bit, it will start automatically scrolling up, so you don't have to do manual page turns. I find this app, sometimes it doesn't acknowledge your taps, like this, you have to keep tapping. And okay, you also have uh, bookmarks and things you can... Uh, there's a page I bookmarked earlier. You can also go to specific pages. Um, okay, and if, you, if you've made a mistake, you want to go back to where you were before, you hit this Go Back button, which recalls up to 20 different positions. So it's kind of like an undo button. And you can search for words within the document. On the whole, it's, it's quite good. You, you know, zoom and pan just works exceptionally well with the iPad. That's, you know, this what it excels at, that, that type of thing. What it's not so good for is if you need to make annotations or, you know, you, you want to add your own little note, notes or doodles to the drawings or something like that, you can't do it. It's great for reading, but it's not so great for editing the documents and